Hello, this is Randall Lloyd. Welcome to part four of my user guide for the DAS 3D SuperSuit for Genesis. In the last segment, we talked about full body shaping presets. And you can find those once again under uh, with SuperSuit selected in your smart content under Presets Morphs. And let's just apply one here. And uh, today we're going to talk about the companion uh, to that, which is the material preset. And along with the shaping, uh, each one of these was included with a material to match it. So you can find those under materials and you can separate that out by uh, genre if you want to. And uh, in the uh, content library, it's under uh, SuperSuit presets, material presets, and then separated by uh, genre. Now. The reason I direct you to the content library is because we have the extra benefit of these informational icons which I've told you about before. And let's just take a look at those real quick. These material presets are only going to change the surface. It will not change the shape. And two, these presets may take a long time to load. Depending on your machine and your system resources and which one of the material presets you select, it could take uh, several minutes for some of these to load up so don't let that concern you. For the purposes of the video I will skip the loading times and uh, put the video on pause so it jumps ahead so we won't be wasting any time. Let's go ahead and, and pick one of these um, the uh, adventurer here to match the shape that we have on there. And that particular one loads up very quickly and one of the first things you might think to yourself is what is he uh, wearing black plastic or something? Well no we're getting to the point of this third informational icon which says shaders may not display properly until render and that's because there is a difference between the final render engine and the preview render engine and uh, let me show you what that is if I uh, grab my spot render tool and drag one out <clears throat> you'll see there's quite a bit of difference between the final render and the preview and here you get all the really cool dirty metal effects on that adventurer so there's that and some of them actually are, are quite different and let's let's try one of the other ones here let's go to maybe sci-fi and let's load this heavy gear topaz for example there it is and that's pretty cool it, it remember it loaded up only the color not the shape and if we can go back to these morphs over here you know you can have some fun clicking through here and seeing you know, you might find some combination that wasn't intended that you might like even better. And that's one of the real fun things about clicking through some of these shapes. Uh, but let's find the one that goes with it. And uh, that's under Shape Presets by Genre Sci-Fi Heavy Gear. And there it is. That's the shape that's meant to go on there. And if we zoom in here, you're going to see just how different this can be. If I click on my uh, Spot Render and, and drag out a uh, rectangle there you'll see as it starts to come in that it's quite different the shader adds this kind of car paint style sparkly texture and you've got this really nice displacement on the arm which makes it look very sci-fi pretty cool alright so that's how uh, it basically works you can interchange the different shapes and the different materials and have a whole lot of fun with that I hope that's a uh, interesting to you and I hope you have fun with it. If you like these videos please subscribe to my channel and click like for the videos that helps me out and uh, share with your friends. I look forward to talking to you again in the next part which will talk about complete presets. So I'll see you next time.